is dead. I just can't believe he's gone. April 21, 2016. Found Prince unresponsive inside an elevator. <gasps> A day of rainbows and rain, sorrow and pain. <laughs> Prince was in the middle of his piano and microphone tour. Doors just opened for the eight o'clock show. The first sign of trouble a week earlier after an Atlanta concert, Prince's flight back to Minneapolis made an emergency landing in the Quad Cities for what he later called the flu. He sounded really weak, actually. Back in Minnesota, he hosted a dance party at Paisley Park and reassured fans. He said, hey, don't waste your prayers on me. Just wait a few days. We eventually learned the Minnesota pop icon died of an accidental overdose of fentanyl from a counterfeit Vicodin pill. The doctors were planning to treat him for a painkiller addiction. But on that day in April, all we knew for sure was that an artistic genius was gone too soon. It's a tough day. It's a tough day for the city. It's a tough day for all of us. Thank you for loving him, y'all. Fans made the pilgrimage to the Paisley Park chain link fence and First Avenue downtown for what grew into a massive street party outside the club that Prince made famous 32 years early. It's Prince's favorite Minneapolis night spot. It's also the scene of his new movie. Purple Rain made him an international star at the age of 26, an Oscar and Grammys. But by then, Prince had already cranked out six studio albums. I live in a small town and I always will. Minnesota guy. Prince Rogers Nelson grew up in a musical family in Minneapolis, had some big hoop dreams, and turned to music at the Way Community Center. I remember Prince, he didn't even have a, a guitar case. He would hold it by the neck and be coming down the street to class. Signed by Warner Brothers at the age of 19, Prince was known for his dynamic performances, provocative mystique that pushed boundaries, and of course, his epic battles with record labels. Warner Brothers kind of felt like, okay, you're ours now, and we will tell you when to put out music and what to do. And he didn't like that feeling. Can I play this guitar? In the days after his death, we were flooded with vivid memories of Prince's unparalleled artistry. And we heard stories. There was a hotel sign, free HBO. The song 1999 came about all because the band stayed at a motel where a Nostradamus documentary was on TV. Next day, the water cooler talk is, did you see? And for Prince, he had written this song. That weekend in April, the tributes poured in. Purple rain, purple rain. SNL re-ran all of Prince's appearances and revealed his epic after-show cast party. Still more questions about Prince than answers, but we know the color purple will always remind us of a good friend who left without saying goodbye. For Care 11 News, I'm John Croman.